Airport where flight attendants have planned demonstrations. Your reporter in Denver is Kennedy Cook. And Kennedy, uh, we've seen airline workers, especially over the past few years, picketing. Why are they out there today? Well, Brian, DIA is one of 30 airports across the country seeing demonstrations right now. Now, these flight attendants behind me say they are simply tired of drawn out contract negotiations and they're demanding fair share of profit and control of their time. As contract negotiations come to a head with the union, flight attendants are joining together to demand the contracts and fair share of the profits made through their hard work. Flight attendants here tell me they do life-saving work every day, responding to medical emergencies, de-escalating conflict, and fighting fires. But in return, some flight attendants say they haven't received a raise in years, and working conditions and pay have been disrupted by consistent operational issues. Flight attendants say it's especially upsetting when airlines are flying more than ever before, launching new destinations, and taking delivery of new aircraft. I don't think that the, the corporations like to see themselves on the news in a bad light. And, and quite frankly, flight attendants out here on their days off, on their own time, in the heat, that tells you how important this is. Now, Chris also shared with me that if negotiations are not met soon, that a uh, strike, that is, will be the next course of action. Live at Denver International Airport, I'm your reporter, Kennedy Cook, covering Colorado First. All right, Kennedy, thank you so much. And Kennedy is, of course, your reporter if you live in Denver. She's